Ladies and gentlemen, konnichiwa. The Research Data Alliance meeting is a unique opportunity to build bridges between continents, confirming our strong commitment to ensure a sustainable cooperation between Europe and Asia. Unfortunately, I cannot be with you in Tokyo today, but the digital era allows me at least to connect with you. More than ever, we must join forces to address global challenges by removing barriers to international cooperation between researchers and innovators, and by establishing leading international research and innovation partnerships. The scientific and socio-economic challenges of the 21st century transcend borders, and science is increasingly global. By bringing together a new, unique community of data scientists, librarians, computer scientists, and policymakers, this meeting enables us to take action for shaping a better future. The future is digital. The future is data. Data makes the future. And RDA is at the core of digital transformation. I would like to congratulate the organizers of this event for choosing making data sharing work in the era of open science as the main theme of this RDA plenary. This is a timely and strategic choice. The rapid explosion of data has fundamentally changed the world of science and research. The volume, variety and complexity of research data require significant efforts to maintain transparency and integrity in the scientific enterprise. High-performance ICT infrastructures are needed to manage the expected scale of future data flows. Adequate computing, storage and communication resources should be available to researchers in order to fully leverage online access to data and computation. The universal nature of science requires more equitable access across all economic and social sectors. The digital revolution makes it possible to share scientific advancement and its benefits. The collective intelligence of scientific communities is now unleashed through new ways of collaborating across institutional, disciplinary and national boundaries. Big data, cloud computing and high performance computing will support the uptake of the data economy and data driven science because the effective management of digital data is indispensable in today's research and innovation activities. Ubiquitous high-speed connectivity should reduce knowledge divides. Infrastructure should be built to achieve global interoperability, fostering cooperation between research, education, government and industry. In Europe, the high-speed infrastructure GEON enables research collaboration and knowledge sharing by interconnecting research, education and innovation communities worldwide with secure high-capacity networks. Furthermore, GEON collaborates globally with research and education network partners to ensure high-performance connectivity and to make a range of services available to user groups across the world enhancing their ability to work together. With links to GEON, the Trans-Eurasia Information Network provides a dedicated, high-capacity data communications network for research and education communities across Asia-Pacific. Users have access to the shortest and hence fastest possible network routes for their data traffic from and to Europe which significantly improves the performance of many applications. This fulfills both continents' wish to connect research and education communities across borders and accelerate scientific breakthroughs. Géant's advanced network and services enable worldwide research projects in areas as varied as climate change and environmental monitoring, food and energy supply, particle physics and radio astronomy, medicine and bioinformatics. But we need to go further. Europe will soon launch the European Cloud Initiative. The objective is to offer researchers a trusted, open environment 
for storing, sharing and reusing scientific data and results. The European Cloud Initiative will provide European science, industry and public authorities with world-class data infrastructure, cloud-based services and the means to compete and thrive in the digital economy. Our ambition is that every research centre, research project and researcher in Europe has access to world-class supercomputing, data storage and analysis to support research-driven innovation ecosystems. The European Cloud Initiative is part of European efforts to promote open science and to develop the necessary infrastructure to support it. We also need to develop reward mechanisms that recognize stewardship and innovation in preserving and enabling the reuse of results from research, making research results discoverable and reusable. We need to work with all relevant stakeholders of the science ecosystem to explore new models for sustainable open scientific data management. We need to work with you, RDA, on interoperability. Supporting the digital transformation of industry, public sector services and science is our ambition. We cannot do it alone. We need to work together across the globe to ensure interoperability of data and to agree on standards. The Research Data Alliance is a timely initiative that has been able to grab the attention and the commitment of a vast community interested in the interoperation of data infrastructures. I welcome the effort of the RDA community to bring experts from different scientific and technological backgrounds to tackle the obstacles of interoperation of data and computing infrastructures. I wish you all a very good stay in Tokyo and a fruitful event. Gambatte kudasai.